Grade 4 math, number 14. Comparison problems. Solving for n. I'm going to do this with multiplication. All right, so I've got some problems here that I'm going to help solve with you. We have Tala has two times as many jelly beans as Emma. Together they have nine jelly beans. So how many jelly beans does Tala have? Well, this is the information we know. We know she has two times as many as Emma. Two times as many. Together, they have nine. Okay? So Tala's jelly beans plus Emma's jelly beans is nine. Okay? That's together. Tala's by itself is two times Emma's. So the equation we're going to come up with is 2 times Emma's, which is Tala's, plus Emma's is 9. So whatever 2 times Emma's is, plus Emma's is the 9. So there's three parts, okay? 1, 2, 3. Tala has 2 times whatever Emma has, and Emma has just one of them, okay? So if we had to split 9 into these three parts we would get three n's are equal to nine. Three times n equals nine. Three times what equals nine? Three times three. So this would be Emma's and this would be Tala's. See? Tala's got two times more than Emma. See that? So what you do is you say, okay, here's the 2, here's the 1 that gives us 3 parts. The 3 parts split into 9 is 3 times 3. See how I did that? Let's try another one. Barley the dog weighs 3 times more than Lola, a smaller dog. Together they weigh 60 pounds. How much does each dog weigh? All right, so Barley's got three N's and Lola's got one N. Do you see how I did that? So Barley has got three N's and Lola's got one N. And together, it's 60. So now we've got one, two, three, four N's equals 60. Four N's are equal to 60. 4 times n equals 60. What is 60 broken up into 4 parts? Can you figure this out? 4 times what equals 60? Well, how many 4's are in 60? You could do that. We could do that division. S 60 is the same thing as 60 divided by 4. We could do that. The number is 15. If we took 15 four times, 5, 10, 15, 20, carry the 2, put the 0 down, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. See? Each one of these added together makes 60. So, if barley is three of them and Lola is one of them, that means Lola weighs 15 pounds, okay? That means Lola is 15 pounds and that means barley is what? What's 15 three times? 5, 10, 15, carry the 1, put the 5 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 45 pounds. So barley is 45 pounds, and Lola is only 15 pounds. Do you see how I did that? It said barley is 3 times, and Lola is just 1 times. So barley is 3 and Lola is 1 in. That's a total of 4 N's is equal to the total of 60. 
4n equals 60. Let's try another one. Okay, Tim has five times more cookies than Lisa. Together they have 54 cookies. How many cookies does each have? So Tim has five n's, Lisa has one n. Five and one is six. So that's a total of six n is going to equal the 54. Tim has got five, Lisa's only got one. See, because he's got five times more. So it gives us a total of one, two, three, four, five, six n's. 6n equals 54. 6 times n equals 54. Do you know your 6 times table? 6 times what is 54? Do you know? 6 times 9. So if 9 is our answer, that means that that's what an n is n is equal to that 9. See? Here's the 6, here's the n, and here's the 54. So 9 is equal to the n. That means Tim has got 5 of these. See? What's 5 times 9? 5 times 9 is 45. So Tim has 45 cookies, and Lisa has 9 cookies. See how we got that? If he has 5 times more, then he's got 5n. He's got 5 more than her, she's only got 1n. See that? So let's try solving for these. 7 times more than n is 28. 7 times n equals 28. 7 times what is 28? Do you know? 7 times 4. n equals 4. Because 7 times 4 equals 28. How about this one? 6 times n equals 24. Do you know your 6 times table? 6 times what equals 24? What could the n be? Well, n equals 4 in this one also. 6 times 4 equals 24. So n is equal to 4. Let's try this one. 8 times a number is 64. 8 times what is 64? Do you know your 8 times table? 8 times 8 is 64. So the n is 8. Here's an 8. The n is 8, and it equals 64. n equals 8. When we do algebra, we replace the number we're trying to find with an n or an x or a z or a q or a letter of the alphabet, and then we call it a variable. The variable takes the place of the missing number. See? So n is our variable. And in this case, it's 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times a number equals 64. The number is 8. That is how we do comparison problems with multiplication, and that is how we use algebra and variables to help us solve the problem. Can you try doing it on your own? Can you think of some problems like these with your family members? Maybe somebody has three times more marbles, or somebody has five times more bananas, or something like that. Maybe you can come up with your own. Okay? See you next video. Keep up the good work.